Every boxer has a dream to be the best. Jason Wellborn has the opportunity to make that dream a reality. Through sacrifice and hard work, Jason has earned the chance to prove himself on the world stage against the unbeaten, unified, light middleweight champion, Jared Hurd. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first of our world title attractions. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, we present the challenger from Timmerdale, England. Please welcome Jason Wellborn. <clears throat> the champions that we have has been phenomenal. The story just speaks for itself. As you can see, what Jason's achieved this year alone, two British titles and a world title. It's just like, you just know, I, I've never seen a boxer do that in one year. Because Jason's fought and won and defended the British. Yeah. Yeah, that's what someone, that's what a lot of forgetting, that he's actually won it and he's defended it. And he's done that against the odds. He was he was like eight to one. And then the second time he fought, again he was the underdog because Jason was a welterweight. And a welterweight moving up to middleweight, but we never knew where he really was because he was killing himself to make the weight anyway. And um, a lot of people say that the fact that he's 32 now, do you think that's too much of an age now? And uh, what's the difference? And like, don't you think that like now he's, he's got a short, short space of time? And he's never had real wars. I know he's had them two fights with Tommy Langford. But at middleweight, he went there because he took his chances. And that's one thing that you've got to do. And the only way you can have them chances and win and be successful at the chances is if you're in the gym. He's working alongside us, training every day, and you can see the difference. And he's never had no wars. Two years he's had a gap where he's not worked at all. And now you can see the difference. Other boxers will see this and know this is the level that you can get to coming from absolutely nothing. From a person who weren't even supposed to walk, the doctors had said that he, would, he wouldn't even be able to walk, and now look what he's doing, fought for the world title. Yeah, yeah, he probably couldn't walk. He's, he's got an actual plate in his leg. They said they'll never be able to walk again. Um, and we've had a letter from a, uh, a kid who's 10 years old, and he, the kid said, I've got the same problem as you, and I want to play football, and I want to, I want to be able to run with my friends, and you're an inspiration. He's one of them that people are looking at, and I was saying, wow, look what he's achieved. Look where he's gone. If he can do it, we can, anybody can do it. And um, yeah, But it's, it's his real determination and grit that's got him to where he is now. The Velocity Training Camp prepares some of the world's most elite athletes. Jason gets pushed to his limits daily to ensure he is mentally and physically ready for the fight of his life. Training camps are a lonely place. No teammates, it's just you. To be a champion, you need to train like this. Jason is leaving no stone unturned going into this fight. <sighs> Sessions like this can be the difference between winning and losing.
See what you get through, like you know, mate. Like when yeah. I was before even won the Midlands title, I'm coming round here, training my balls off, up at six, working, and you're getting nowhere. And then you think, bloody hell, what have I got to do to like mm. try and try and get somewhere? But well, it's paying off now. Someone's keeping me. Someone's kept me here, like you know what I mean, until this day. So you know, when they say someone's meant, you ain't gonna stop till you achieve something. Because some days you get up and like. I'm thinking, oh man, you know what I mean? It, it, people don't see that side, no. and it can wreck your relationships, you know what I mean? Because really, I ain't doing nothing. She, you know what I mean? And she ain't doing nothing. She's just basically, where her life evolves around everything with me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, I'll Jake and you go and have a bad for an hour because I know I'm tired. Yeah. Which, you gotta take your hat, that's why I take my hat off to her, man. That's why after a fight, I, yeah. yeah and like after losing mum, I'd have probably gone off the rails, I'd have probably yeah. been, because my dad logs a beer, and then I'll sit in the pub having a beer with my dad, drowned in the sort but you, you could do that, and like fair play to her, she she got me back in that gym and said, listen, this is for your mum, man, your mum wouldn't yeah. want you to see you be doing this. Yeah. I've watched his last couple of fights, and obviously when you click on his documentary, well not his documentary, his, um, like his trading, and yeah. he, they make him look good anyway. Yeah. You can look brilliant on the pads and hitting speedballs, but, you are fighting, you yeah. know what I mean, it's a different kind. And that's the same with everyone, you look at Marcus Morrison, they probably look a million dollars on the pads, yeah. and on the speed balls, and but it's, it's a, it's a fight game, game and, you know what I mean, your, your adrenaline's giving, there's a lot on the line. Obviously the only thing is, he's had that experience at that level, the world level, the, yeah. you know what I mean, he's had all that, but uh, I mean, I've got nothing to lose, man, I'm just giving there. Going to win and get it's what I, get what I deserve. Impossible, is it? You know what I mean? It's just I put the ring up here. You're sparring in here. You know what I mean? I've sparred in here. These are the early day ones. These are. Then my muffled stamina, boxing shorts, and the best. I was sponsored by S and SB Waste, my name is Skip Company. Oh. It's just like little things. What I've just kept. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the these boots. Yeah. That's when I had a, um, I had a big uh, blister on my foot. And it was like bubbling up. And obviously for a Midlands title fight, I had to cut my boot, that's poor man, to get my foot in it. My foot was swollen, I fought Scott Haywood. And I still day pull out. I fought him with, with a bad foot. I could hardly walk. And like, that was like, I, mean, I took ibuprofen, get in the ring, I was on antibiotics. So I thought, you know what, I'm keeping them boots. So, no way. And I, I won him, I broke his jaw. Do we? Cheeky brother, you've been swimming. <laughs> yeah, is it good? Oh, look, daddy. Daddy, yeah. Look, dad. Dad, yeah. Daddy, go win the belts. The belts. Twenty-six. That man. That man is trying to beat daddy. So, dad, what's daddy gonna do? Yeah. Is daddy gonna go? Yeah. Go? yeah. <laughs> ah, I've done everything. You know, I've Done. Your body can. It's amazing what your body can go through. It's like today when I've done that loss to training. I got up after 12 rounds last night, getting up, and then straight back on it this morning. It's. But this is what I expect at this level. This yeah. is what you got to be doing. This is what these are doing, and it's. You got to push your body through these limits, and I think your body can take it. Yeah. It's mentally it's and it, mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. hard. And like you say, a lot of the boxers could probably step up to the level because it's mentally more yeah. than anything. But. I'm doing well, I'm nearly through it now, so the hard work's done room over there. Just enjoying it then. Right, all you Baggies fans, we have got a treat for you now. We have got our fighting chance, our Baggies fan himself, Jason Wilborn! Born and bred in West Brom, Jason meets his fans at his beloved club, West Bromwich Elf. It's a chance I'll, put, I'll, I'll, put, I'll snatch it with both hands to uh, fly over to LA and fight for two world titles. It's a, it's a dream come true. 
the magnitude of this fight starts to set in, as his fans gather to show their amazing support. Signing autographs and taking selfies is all new to Jason. It's starting to hit home that this fight could change his life. Every fight I go in, I always give my best, so I'm going out there, I'm going to win. I've trained hard, I've got some good people in the back on me there, my training camp's going good, so even over there, no doubt, bring them titles back to obviously the black country. Hi, Jace. it's Bob Taylor here. Um, been your last two fights, mate, carrying your belt out. Uh, hopefully, I can, uh, when you win the World Championship, I can come and uh, carry that one out as well. Uh, best of luck on December the 1st, mate. Boing, boing. I'm like, yeah, trying to come over for the night, yeah. Baby, let me know if it's alright, yeah. I was thinking I could bring a spray, yeah. And mix it with that vodka. I ain't got a car, yeah. I'ma pull up on you. Wake up every morning and I'm feeling like I saw you. Go to sleep at night, like, baby, let me put it on you. I've come from nothing, from um, boxing at the back of N and Chickens and Dudley, and never really having much of an amateur career. And uh, to come out and fight here, to win a British title from Ray Boyles and getting the opportunity, that's hard, you know what I mean? But I've done that this year. And I keep saying 2018's been my year. Everything what I've touched has turned to gold. So if I'm going to do it, it's going to be this year. And I've done everything, I've cut no corners, uh, camp's gone well. So there ain't nothing else you can do. If I lose, I lose. I, I'm a winner, whatever. I've come out here, I've got nothing to lose. I've just got to put a good performance on and um, the best man win. As a kid, it's a sport. It helps you through certain things in life. But as you grow older, it comes boxing, professional boxing. It's it's hard, and it's money. And when money's involved, and everybody's having the, it's hard. I've got through all that now, from little shows to title fights, taking fights at short notice for a little bit of money. I've done it. I've done everything I can in boxing. So to just tick the box now and fight for a world title, I'm a winner. And um, going back, obviously, you said with the family, um, it's all for the family. It's some days where well, obviously I lost my mum, think of my mum every day because obviously what she's left behind, my dad and and it just gives me that drive, you know what I mean, it's like she's here with me, she's pushing me and like there's little signs what I've seen around here as here with me now and um, in that ring they'll be shining Saturday night. I think a lot of people have said you're born, you're born to do something and obviously whatever, it, whether you could throw me somewhere, I can fight and I've got the art and I've got the, the toughness, which you call train that. I can work on my jab, I can work on my running and my fitness, but I can't train the toughness. It's mentally and you gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, whatever you do, whether you're interviewing or you do, you ain't gonna get nowhere. And like going from that level, from there to there, from British to world, it's another level. It's like Jared Hurd, he probably thinks, He's untouchable. He wants to be fighting Mayweather's Golovkin. He's got to think that because otherwise he ain't gonna go any higher than what he is. So we've all we've all got to be mentally strong at this level. Otherwise, you might as well pack. You might as well throw your gloves. Is it? Uh, he said off his doing. Thank you. This press conference is another level to what Jason is used to. He's now officially on the world scene. Jason, Chris Delazio, showtime. Thanks for being here, man. Yes. It will be a good test of character and nerve now he's finally face to face with his opponent. He's got a suit on. Hello, everyone. Ryan Custer from Showtime Championship Boxing, and we are now just two days away from one of the most significant heavyweight title fights that's been fought here in the States in about 16 years. And on Saturday, you've got the WBC 
unbeaten heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder, taking on the Gypsy King, the unbeaten lineal champion, and the undercard will be just as exciting, just as competitive. And in fact, this undercard, the co-main, will feature the unified 154 pound champion of the world. You will also see a former British middleweight champion making his U.S. debut. When we talk about Jared Herb, he's a fighter who has seemingly come out of nowhere. And with an incredibly rapid rise to the top, he was not a decorated amateur. He has learned on the job. He burst on the scene with a signature win against Oscar Molina. Um, he has been off due to injury. We'll hear more about that. Certainly could have taken an easier fight with Jason Wellborn, who is a British Commonwealth champion, also has campaigned at middleweight as well. So we're expecting an action fight there. Coming to the podium now, this man will be making his U.S. debut. He is the former British middleweight champ, and he's won five straight fights. Here's Jason Wellborn. I just want to say uh, thanks for the opportunity from uh, every side. Obviously, uh, from Showtime and uh, Swiss Dean giving me the opportunity to fight for uh, our title. It's a dream come true for my uh, to be where the man is today. So, obviously, uh, he's come from small bills and done what he's got to do. And he knows how hard it is to get where he's got to get. And obviously, he's in my way. I'm coming here for a good performance and a good win. And uh, just being here as a winner today, and I'll be all in draw. I'd like to bring to the table Saturday night. Uh, thanks for all the uh, friends, family, team well with all and uh, believe what I got in me like that. I'm born and bred for this game and uh, I'm going to show Saturday night. Uh, thank you, thank you. Saturday night, man. I want to show my versatility, you know. Uh, everybody has seen, seen one part of the name, which is the lightning bolt. I'm electrified, man. Everybody has seen that I bring the action all the time, man. But I want to show the rest of your name. I want to show that I am swift. I want to show that I do have defense. I do have the height. I do have the range. And I can be swift, man. Okay, I'm supporting all of the, the, the kind of the UK fighters. I think you can come out here on a stage like this. It's, it's not your call on, on a, a rainy Saturday or Sunday night. Do you know what I mean? It, this is this is LA, and so I think any any British fighter that gets their gets their chance on, on this bill is, is is unbelievable, isn't it? So all the way down from from Fury, obviously Team Worldborn, we get we got we got to have a little bit of support in there. We've got Anthony Yard, we've got Joe Joyce. Like you know, there's 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 a, there's a range of fighters. I mean, just I'm supporting British boxing really. Sit now, I'm just gonna do my last little bit of uh, training tonight, so I'm just gonna go back, get some rest now. And, uh, seven o'clock, last little sweat training session, and then uh, jobs are good, and try and get a bit of kick now. This is Jason's final session before the fight. Everything he has done. All he's been through. All the sacrifices he has made are all leading to this one moment. And he knows he is ready.
He's the former British Commonwealth middleweight champion. Please welcome Jason Wellborn. 152 and a half pounds for the challenger, 152 and a half for Jason Wellborn. There's an opportunity yes. to, to make history on yes, Saturday night. Definitely. Uh, which one of the three or all three are going to make history? Who knows? Because we are going to see him on TV. Yeah. 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 But I've heard, I've heard great things about him. And he's, it looks like he's got on his way to the top. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I was ready for him, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think I am ready. Everyone's saying, Are you ready? I'm like, when you look at someone's eyes, you know. And I think all the trying and everything. I'm ready, man. You know what I mean? If he goes bang, 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 we've got one of us will give it. What's the pre uh, fight meal now? What are we going for? So normally I have chicken and pasta. What Rachel cooks me, what she's got, she's got today off. She's off. <laughs> she ain't got to do it today, so I've got to give him pay for it. <laughs> I'll have me a nice chicken and pasta portion and then a few more, a couple of hours later I'll probably get another, chi another chicken and pasta meal in there. And uh, obviously we've got the 10 pound IBF limit, so but that's it. It should be saving, so uh, just a place to get the food because it's what I'm going to eat tonight. That's what I'll fight on tomorrow. Muhammad Ali once said, Champions aren't made in gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. They have to have the skill and the will, but the will must be stronger than the skill. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first of our world title attractions. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way. 